Ishi, last of the Yahi, a prayer of St. G. It is spring in Northern California with rivers running hard, sluiced by 400 feet of snow on top. The land breathes a great sigh and the waters flow back to the sea from whence they came. Yet the memories remain of native tribes, Maidu, Paiute, and Yahi, of whom the man Ishi was the last. All the people flagged out by 300,000 whites in a rush for gold. And will there be among us a last man? And in what wilderness will he hide? And what will bring him out? Where will he go? The reason for the universe and for the history of the world is the offering of your life to men. This message was carried from the beginning by small numbers of men, always in jeopardy. For your life was given to Adam, who put his in danger to the evil one. Then Moses shall have been killed in Egypt or in the wilderness of Sinai. Abraham endangered by Pharaoh. Then every last one of the Jews put to captivity in Babylon. Elijah considered that he himself was the very last believing man. Yet you showed him 7,000 unbent to Baal. In a short time came Jesus, the very word himself, sought to be murdered by Herod, then severely tempted by Satan, then torture and death on the cross. Satan was put to cross purposes. In his persuasion of Adam, he did not know what God would do. Yet you from eternity decreed the fall of man, though the, the guilt was his ensued the suffering of believers who, by it, come to share the life of Messiah. In the three thousand years from Moses unto this day, there were but one hundred and fifty years, compositely, of miracles. These were given to the people of God when in great need, so that while we say the life of God among us on earth is dwindling, you keep always a remnant. And it will be true when we are the last man, not in victory, but in the ignominy of deafness, sightless unbelief. For perhaps we believe in you, and of you, and to you, but do we believe you? We upon whom the ends of the world have come, live toward our death, trying to improve ourselves, trying to be worthy. But the Lord, when looking at us, sees only one thing, the righteousness of the Son. This is a banner of love placed upon our faces as to Moses, placed in our eyes and ears, touch, mind, soul, and to be aware of the fragrance of the Lord. These inevident gifts rule the real life we are living our spirit joined to yours. All blessing is the rain poured out upon the earth, blessing the outpouring of your thoughts of us and to us. And as your thoughts are eternal, so we were there in your mind from eternity everlasting. Not all are the people of God. It is not correct to say God hates the sin but loves the sinner. This is a fabricated mantra of men who have made themselves comfortable with their sin. And all have sinned, but unto us was brought repentance. Not from our own hearts, but put there by you. All things are of the Lord, and through the Lord, and to the Lord. In the end it is we, the last man, who will come to you, who will come to you and live ever and ever in the light of your being. Amen.